Hey guys, I'm Andy Wood here with Jam Play, and uh, we're going to start digging into some hybrid playing and how you can apply it to your playing. This is going to be multi part series of videos. I'm going to start you out with the most basic ideas. The most basic idea is just applying your middle finger in conjunction with your pick. Take licks that you're familiar with, that you've played a million times in your life, and instead of using pull offs and, and alternate picking, uh, start using your middle finger to play a line. So if you had a line that was uh, let's break that down to just okay so we're gonna have a hybrid play that G it's be an A on the G string we're gonna have the hybrid play that G and by G I mean string not not the note when you're playing hybrid, you can grab the string with just a little bit of your nail and a little bit of your finger. Some guys like to use um, their real nails and grow them out. Some guys I've seen use, they, they actually go to a nail salon and uh, they put on the, the fake acrylic nails and get them all like really super, super hard. I actually don't use that much nail. I've built up just a little bit of a callus right there. And where I grab the string is with the nail and the string. It allows me to not break nails, yet it gives me that tone that I'm looking for. Now, also in hybrid playing, specifically applied to country, you're looking for two different sounds. A lot of guys that use hybrid playing in a modern aspect, the guys like maybe uh, Tom Quill or Andre Nieri, when they're doing that kind of thing, they're using uh, hybrid to allow them for an evenness across the strings. Uh, something like that. So in country, what we're looking for is the opposite. We want the notes to stick out. You want that pop and that aggression. You hear how the notes kind of have this staccato -y thing that happens. They want that note to not be audibly different from the picked notes, right? So they're using it uh, as, as a transitional thing uh, to keep it from the right hand to having to do so much work. What we're doing in country music is kind of the opposite. We want the notes that are hybrid played to stick out. And you can obviously tell in those pull-offs which ones are. Even if you're not using the technique for something fast. You hear that that's got a different attack on it. You got to get used to when you're doing that attack thing, grab the string with more meat of the, the middle finger and you want that, that pop. So just take a basic minor pentatonic idea, whatever that may be and take those top strings and instead of playing the lick like use your middle finger to pluck those get under the string right there's a totally different sound when you're getting under the string than when you're just pulling at it like this this is more of like what i was saying about like what maybe tom or or andre might do Right versus the country thing. You want that aggression. So just spend some time practicing in that, and then uh, when you come back to this, we'll be do applying the third finger in conjunction with the middle finger. Okay, now in hybrid playing, we talked about the, the application of just the middle finger. Now we're going to add in the third finger. The third finger. Uh, allows a lot of these double stop and country uh, iconic sounds to really sound genuine, authentic. That same type of idea with the pick, it's not even close to the same. 
You hear how much aggression comes out of those two fingers. Um, the same practice technique that you used to develop your middle finger comfortability. Uh, put that on the, the, the third finger. Uh, you're gonna have, uh, now, let's say you're gonna play in the key of A. I just like to stay there for country. We're gonna play the fifth of the chord with our ring finger and the third, minor third, with our middle finger and we're gonna hammer on to the major third using that true blues scale we talked about. Now we're gonna play this together, like this. And then we're gonna play the A with the downstroke on the pick. Okay, that's like the quintessential, like it is to country what that is to rock and roll. Okay. That's the ultimate country thing. I mean, so many licks start with. So many things start with that kind of uh, minor third, major third sound with a pluck. Okay, so work on that. Okay, once you're comfortable with that, we're gonna do this bar chord to give us this D sound. That's like one of the most used style of riffs in country music. You can use both fingers to lay it across. You can use just your third finger. It's really irrelevant. All you need to do is just bar. However that gets done for you. So for, for part one, we're just going to work on trying to get this. Alright, get that under your fingers and we'll come back with the next part of the lesson. Alright guys, we talked about hybrid playing with both fingers on the right hand uh, married to the G and B strings. We were playing this riff. Now what I want to do is we're going to get the, the, the fingers on the right hand and the pick. That's got to be able to move freely throughout all string sets. You've got to be comfortable jumping around string sets and having accuracy in your right hand. That way you know whichever string you're grabbing is the correct string. So now let's just add something. Let's make us a little lick here. Nice quintessential Brent kind of lick. We're going to start with a double stop that's uh, A and E on the top two strings. By top, I mean treble side of the guitar. That sound, we're going to slide into it. Now that's going to be a quick little minor pentatonic lick that's alternate picked. And then we're going to hit the back half of that riff that we talked about in the previous lesson. We're going to have that D. Minor third with the E, ma major third to the root. So that is a pull off on both strings with hybrid playing. I'm trying to make that really clear. So once you get down to that root again, you just resolve with that. And that's a great mid-tempo. That's a great upper tempo. It can lead you through into it into another phrase. You can just finish out with some chromatics or some pentatonics, however you go. Uh, it's just, it's just, we're using it nothing more than an exercise to get comfortable with jumping around with our with our fingers on uh, on dedicated string sets that end up moving around the guitar. So we're working on accuracy in the right hand in this lesson. Uh, in, the, in the upcoming lessons, we'll talk about double picking on the, uh, or I guess double plucking rather, with the hybrid. So that was uh, one more time with the lick. Work on your accuracy, and we'll see you in the next video.